This is a PT6 turboprop engine. It's on a C90 King Air, I believe. It's being run up after a lot of maintenance was performed on both engines. If they were leak checking it, especially for oil, the backside of the cowlings would have had to have been taken off. And a mechanic would be standing right about here, looking at the engine, looking for where oil may be coming from. That's a very dangerous place to stand. what the mechanics are given for protection. This is what I use. Today I have the job of finding an oil leak on this PT6-112 on a Cesta 425. No one's been able to find the oil leak yet. In order to run it up and, and be able to watch it at the same time, I mounted a camera to this engine mount beam. It seems like the oil leak would be coming from this mounting pad, or the scavenge pump mounting pad, or even this tube that's attached to the scavenge pump. See if you can see where the oil is coming from before I point it out and I'll start the engine. Okay, time for a right engine start. By the numbers. Area is clear. Starter engaged in three, two, one. Well, it's no wonder why this oil leak was hard to find. It was coming from these two little pinholes out of the oil scavenge pump housing itself at the top of it. And this is what the inside of this scavenge pump looks like. Now, I don't know what caused this corrosion. I don't know what caused the holes. And no one's been able to tell me how it was done. It just, we just know it's bad. And it was also creating holes corrosion holes in other parts of the scavenge pump as well. So after draining the oil, flushing the oil tank, changing the oil filter, installing a new and improved scavenge pump, we ran the engines and everything worked out fine. The customer was happy and he took the airplane and that was a job well done. Good job.